How many ladies are ready for Fridays with Fran? So we were supposed to have Fridays with Fran Friday. At the same time, I had scheduled something else on my own before I knew Fridays with Fran were coming. So I called my guy and I called him. I said, man, I know you're getting consecrated as bishop, you know, and I want to be there with you, but I can't come because I got to be with Pastor Fran. Like, love, please, love God. Man, I can't come. It's one of my best friends in ministry. I love him, uh, Bishop LeBaron Hedgeman. And so um, I can't come. And then Fridays with Fran postponed. So watch this. Now this, seriously, I tease Pastor Fran a lot, but she's such a good woman. She really is. We woke up Friday to come to the meeting, and then Pastor Fran said, honey, after the meeting, well, how far is the place? It's in Meridian, Mississippi, which is three hours. This is my guy, I, you know, she said, but if you want to go, I'll drive. Now, come on now, y'all, see, y'all don't understand. Y'all don't understand. Somebody going to drive for you three hours one way just so you can be in a little church service? Thank you, wife. So I said, I felt bad because I'm, I'm normally, you know, I normally do most of the driving for the house and I have no problem with it. I love doing it, uh, you know. And I said, okay, well, let's go. So we get in the car. We pack up everything real fast, moving fast. And um, we drive all the way to Meridian, Mississippi, three hours one way. The weather got so bad. The weather got so bad, I think you saw driving like 20 miles an hour. It was raining so hard on the way to Meridian. And then, see, you ain't got to always listen to the navigator. I said, turn this way, honey. She said, honey, I don't know how, honey. I'm telling you, this is the way to go right here. I've been here before. I've been preached with this boy 25 times. Girl, I know where I'm going. She said, honey, let's follow the navigator. I said, no. So, so we end up getting lost. <laughs> In the back of Marina, Mississippi, they ain't got no lights back there. I don't know if the clan back there. Y'all know what I'm saying? Donald Trump is powerful. <laughs> we got lost. I said, okay. I said, you know what, honey? I think the Lord is saying we need to follow that navigator system right now. And um, the navigator system was bringing us, and we end up going wrong, getting lost, stuck in the weather. So now we're running late for church. So we got to run upstairs to the hotel. They all know change clothes right quick, you know, and, and all of that. And, and then go to the church and on the way to the church we follow the navigator this time see that's what I'm telling you it led us to the train track and the train was coming so now we are this in the is back a true of, story this is a true story yeah, this is a true, this story. true story true story we in the back of Meridian Mississippi and if the devil do come I can't fight him but with one arm anyway so so we, we now we have to call the church because I'm surprising him. He don't even know I'm coming. I'm surprising him. And um, we surprised him. And we called the church and the church said, well, go this way, go this way, go this way, go this way. And we finally, thank God, get to church. Now watch this. When we walked in, it was offering time. Had we been five minutes late, we would have missed the opportunity to sow our seed which is another main reason why I went because I ain't just going to show up I'm going to say I'm coming with seed in my hand we sowed the seed they asked for a hundred dollar offering they just got started with the offering and Pastor Fran and I reached in and we bought our offering now he still ain't see us because it's, it's kind of like this it's kind of dark and when you're getting consecrated as bishop you ain't worrying about nothing but getting that stuff over with right so long and um, we sow the seed uh, they go through the whole service it was a beautiful experience and we go up and take pictures he cried oh, I didn't know you was coming oh my god this and all of that you know it was, it was it was amazing so watch this this true right we stay in take pictures go back in should we drive that night we could have drove that night let's just stay and get up in the morning leave early whatever time we wake up we wake up study on the way back home get ready to, for Sunday right? um, 
And right at the same time, both Pastor Fran and I look at our watch and a zeal came through. Where, where my scripture at? Somebody say, wait on the Lord. Wait on the Lord. And obey. And obey. And he will exalt you to inherit the land. And he will exalt you to inherit the land. Now mind you, when we was in church and all right now, we've been celebrating the victory since that particular moment. Somebody to touch your neighbor and tell them, you got to worship while you wait. Worship while you wait. No, y'all didn't say it. Y'all didn't say it. Touch your neighbor and tell them, you got to worship while you wait. You got to worship while you wait. No, no, say it again. Touch your neighbor and tell them, you got to worship while you wait. You got to worship while you wait. Somebody say, so I'm worshiping. I'm worshiping. Obeying. Obeying. While I'm waiting. While I'm waiting. Say it again. I'm waiting. I'm waiting. Obeying. Obeying. Worshiping. Worshiping. And you shall inherit the land. Honey. Yes. Tell them. Tell them what came through on the watch. Now, I don't know about your watch, but that morning, my watch, Ron, woke me up. It did this on my wrist and got my attention immediately. And when I looked at my watch, I saw that the seed that I had sown in less than 24 hours had already become 10 times greater. It woke me up. My harvest woke me up. My heart snatched me up out of sleep, Ebony. My heart said, may I have your attention? I saw what you did last night. And remember, I told you some time ago, friend love, that the seed is obedient. It is going to do exactly what God has instructed it to do. And so when God gave me seed the night before, did not hesitate I dropped it into the earth and in less than 24 hours this word is from so it's for somebody your harvest is getting ready to wake you up your harvest is getting ready to wake you up your harvest is getting ready to wake you up God is taking time out of the equation and it's getting ready to get your attention Ten. Oh God, I love you. Ten times. Am I ringing again? Ten times greater. So though you may have been sleeping for a season, it is time to wake up in worship. It is time to wake up and obey. Because God wants to wow you. God wants to wow you when you worship, when you obey, and when you wait. God is going to step into your life. And he's That's what happens when you wait. Touch your neighbor and tell them God's going to wow you. God's going to wow you. God's going to wow you. Yeah. How do we say that? Because it came through for both of us almost at the same time. And you know what both of us said? Wow. <laughs> Touch three people and tell them God's getting ready to wow you. God's getting ready to wow you.